a purple toe, and this is our documentary series on something that you're not going to expect. As I said, we're going overboard with all our documentaries, and today we're going to do something. How many out there has ever been under hypnosis? How many believes in it? And if you do not believe in it, how many are afraid of it? How many are saying, well, am I going to bark like a dog? Am I going to act like a monkey? No. I am a testimonial for hypnosis, and the reason why I want to do this documentary is so everybody sees, everybody sees the person, the hypnosis, and the person going under. You're going to see you always have control of your own mind. Now, I'm a testimonial for two reasons. Thirty years ago, I went under hypnosis, and I did a visualization, and the visualization was, I see myself on all the TV shows, I see myself writing books. Who would think to this day, I have five books out there and appeared all over the United States, CNN, Fox News, who would ever think? But the subconscious in my subconscious under hypnosis showed me this. Now I want to step further now. What I did was, I said to the person, can you put me under, I got a little psychic here, can you put me under so I can predict numbers? Well, I was. I was predicting numbers. I stopped it. I shouldn't have, because maybe I would have won the lottery. But back then, I did it all the time. You are going to actually watch a hypnosis in action. This is no play acting. This is no actors, actresses. You are actually going to watch somebody going under. Decide for yourself. Make up your own mind because you may want to go under as well. I want to introduce the hypnosis. I'd like to introduce Lena. How are you? I'm good, Pearl. How you are you? You know what? I've been to you. I've been under with you. <laughs> and I think you're, you're great. But introduce yourself first. Thank you very much for the compliment. My name is Lena Yanni Hill, and I am a hypnotherapist. I'm a spiritual hypnotherapist, uh, a spiritual consultant, psychic, if you will. Mm -hmm. I do medium work, and I also read cards. Do you have a website? I do. Um, it's Vision Field, V I S I O N F E E L, to see and to feel, dot com. It will be back up uh, in August. Okay. And we're revamping it with, to okay. include all of this. Okay. And we uh, are also available uh, to contact on Facebook under Vision Field. Do you with parties? I do parties, I do one on ones. Uh, I do. Well, I know. I've I don't here. do show hypnosis, but I. I, I I've I been do here. It. I'm a testimonial. I'm in here, and, and this is why I'm here, because I want to do it. I want to show people live how a person could go under, and it's not. You're not going to make her bark like a dog. Not at all. And not unless she wanted to. Okay. And and I want I want people to see they always have their own mind. They always can snap out of it if you want. And, 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 but there's people that are susceptible to hypnosis and people that are not, correct? Correct, the, but the, the driving force behind that is the free will of the, the person that would like to be induced into hypnosis. So if I really want something, if I want to quit smoking, I want to lose weight, and my mind, my subconscious is telling me, you, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I can actually do it because I want to do it so bad. Absolutely, Pearl. It, it, it's, it's free will and it's desire. And you mix that together and the person can be hypnotized and they can go on and self-hypnotize uh, to come to a conclusion. Uh, take it this way. Meditation. Okay. If a person meditates, this is meditation with a purpose. This is prayer with a purpose. And it's a guided imagery. And heard a few of the things that you're saying about guided imagery, it's, it's positivity. positivity. And if you keep positivity, you will create your own reality. Well, you got another appointment with me next week because I see myself worldwide with new things Absolutely, and I'd like to be there with you, bro. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna, I'm gonna step aside and we're gonna let you do your thing with your person. Thank you very okay? much. Okay, and let's show it. the people step by step what happens so that they're not afraid. Okay, shouldn't be afraid. I, uh, my subject uh, is a person that didn't come to hypnosis easily uh, and she she trusts. Okay. Now she trusts. We've hypnotized her so much in the last few days that we use a technique called speed induction, which she'll probably be 
in the hypnosis within a minute. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. I'll be over there watching. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, I'm going to show you a speed induction with a very dear friend of mine and now a client. Her name is Mary Ann. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Mary Ann came to me with, we discussed the problem that Mary Ann has trouble sleeping and has breakthrough insomnia in the evening or had had until we started to do hypnosis. Uh, it, how is it now? Since we it's a lot better. It's a lot better. I'm sleeping through the night more frequently. So. How was your fear? How did you overcome your fear of the hypnosis? Mm, that's a tough one to answer. Um, mostly before when people tried to hypnotize me, they were strangers, people that I didn't know and I certainly didn't trust. But we've been friends forever, so I trust you. I, I have like a friendly kind of little voice, too. <laughs> okay. Mary Ann, I'd like you to relax, be unaware of the camera, and focus on the ceiling. I'm going to use a technique that's called speed induction. And we put little tells or little, little things into the last hypnosis in order to get the person under easily and comfortably. Now, Mary Ann. Stare at the ceiling and focus. There's a beautiful, beautiful yellow circle. And you're going through the ceiling up to the sky. Deeper, deeper, deeper into the clouds. Your eyes are heavy. If you feel so you need to close them, you can. Breathe in deeply and clearly. You're going deeper into the sky. Watching that beautiful yellow dot disappear as you go deeper into your hypnosis. We're reinforcing today the ability to sleep comfortably and peacefully through the night. So very proud of your accomplishment. You now have beat the insomnia. You now can sleep. And you will rest and relax. Looking at the sky, I'm counting. You'll see the numbers 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, and there, they're starting to disappear. 95, 94, very good. Going deeper into relaxation, feeling calm, in control, walking along, thinking about all of the wonderful accomplishments you've made. Being a sound sleeper at night, being calm, not worrying, not thinking of the day's busy tasks or the tasks of the day after. Relax. I'm going to tie a red balloon around your arm. Feel the helium lift your left arm. Lifting it gently, gently. That's very good. Very good. Now I'm going to untie it. And I'm going to get to watch it go up to that beautiful crystal blue sky. Breathing and relaxing deeper. As a sound nighttime sleeper, as a relaxed person, letting go of anxieties, fears, indecision. I'm going to count again to five, and when five, I'm going to feel even more relaxed and be reinforced with the fact that you are in control, that you are balanced, even, and happy. One, you're feeling so good. Two, you're enjoying this wonderful place. Three, feeling renewed. making an agreement with yourself to feel positive and always five in control. Take a moment to save your spot as I tap. The next time, we will go deeper into relaxation and you will continue to be
be able to sleep at night. Look at your pillow. You see your pillow right there with you. It feels very good. It feels inviting. Know that when you want to go back to sleep in the middle of the night, that you're going to turn that pillow over and lay your head down and sleep peacefully, soundly, and comfortably. Okay, I'm going to count to 10 now, Mary. And on 10, you're going to be refreshed. And all that we've done is going to come full circle and give you the positivity that you desire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to wake up, Marianne. On 10. How do you feel? Pearl? Pearl! <laughs> oh my god. We've got you under again, Pearl. How do you feel? Pretty good. And actually. you too, were we in the same room? <laughs> I can't believe this. I went under as well. That's great. That's great. I am so relaxed. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm even good. I really enjoy bringing this resolve to people. It, it's I went and I learned to do hypnosis for the various problems that I have. I did it for pain management, basically. Okay. Um, and anxiety. I was such an anxiety panic sufferer that I couldn't even sit in a restaurant or be amongst a crowd of people. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it was balancing my, my third eye, my abilities, yes. and being around the energy and trying to just block it all off. And, as Mary Ann can tell you, she used to try to drag me out and then well, I became I have, a I have to tell you, I, as I said, I'm, I'm one of the testimonials with uh, Lano, but you gave me a tape and I do play it at night before I go to bed. So I'm actually hearing your voice <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm passing out. So right. now, you know, anybody that smoking, weight loss, right. uh, positivity, visualization especially, you know, they're missing something yeah. unbelievable. Uh, I'm not even going to ask your price. They can call you to find Absolutely. out. Absolutely. I mean, can they call you or just go on your website? They can call me. And if they go on the website or if they get me on Dish, uh, Dish and Feel on Facebook, mm -hmm. my number is there. They can inbox me. There are just so many ways right there at the computer to reach me. And you me. do parties? I do parties. Okay. I do, this, do several types of parties. But I like to do the hypnotherapy for groups. Yes. And that's something that we're going to do. So you can do four. five. Well, I know we just did two. <laughs> Actually, in college, and that was recently right. in college, for one of my classes, my public speaking class, I actually chose six subjects, and, and I had half the place. You know now. what? Let's go out now. <laughs> yeah. Two to ten. We're so tired. Now this is good though, because we got I got a lot yeah. of energy now. Right. It does refresh you. Really. It does. I I didn't hear anything that she did, so I must have went out as you were putting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As long as my voice was like a lullaby. It was. It really was. I want to thank you. I want to thank, thank you the subject so much. Of it. Thank you very much. And I want to thank you, and I hope you learn that hypnosis is all in the mind. Thank you.